name is Farhanis Menti Mamak Fairus and welcome back to our YouTube channel. To those who already like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, I would like to say thank you and it is much appreciated. However, to those who have not done so, actually, our channel provides an interesting topic about animal on this earth. So, go check it out and I'll promise you that it will be such an interesting journey. So, for today's episode, we will discuss the topic of animal as a pet. So, without wasting any time, let's get started. Do you guys know what is a pet? And which animal can be considered as a pet? Okay, let me tell you. Actually, a pet is a companion animal. So, an animal that is kept mainly for a person's company will be considered as a pet. The differences between a pet and other animals would be that other animals will be kept for other purposes as well as working animal, laboratory animals, or for livestock. Pets are often chosen by its attractive appearances, intelligent and relatable personalities. The most common popular Pets would be dogs and cat. But for Muslim, we are not allowed to have dogs as a pet. Other animals that can be as a pet is rabbit, hamster, sugar glider, turtle, snake, and also fish. Is there anyone here who would like to have a pet soon? Or maybe you already have one at your home. So how you decide on what pet you should have. Actually, if it comes to pets, there are so many options to choose. There are some pets that require very little maintenance and there are also pets that will use so much of our time to take care of them. The lowest maintenance pet including fish, turtle, and snake will require approximately 15 minutes a day for feeding and maybe one hour for us to clean their place or their tongue. Even though pets like fish are very fun to have, but fish will not interact much with us like another animals would do. Cats, dogs, hamster, rabbit, and guinea pig are the low maintenance pet in which it will need about 15 to 30 minutes or maybe one hour of a daily care and weekly cage and little box cleaning. Normally, cats are the most popular pets as it is very convenient to take care of. The highest maintenance pet such as horses and parrots will require a lot of times to take care of them. It also need as much money to spend for their care. Thus, the highest maintenance pets would be less preferable among other pets. All those animals or pets should live in an environmental that will provide safe and comfortable place. Some pets are very adaptable such as cats which they can live happily in environment ranging from farm to city centers while other pets would need extra care or specific needs as instant horses must have a specific place to be safe as a shelter. Meanwhile, for animals that will stay in the house and do not require tongues or cages, they will need a place to sleep that are out of the way of general household traffic, such as the corner of the room where they can lie without being disturbed. It is also important to provide a little tray that is regularly cleaned out for cats that often are shut indoors. So now, we are ready to choose our pet! Oops! I forgot something. Actually, there is another thing that we should look at first before we decided on our pet. 
the most important thing that we need to look at first is the budget that we have. How would the budget determine our choice of pet? Well, pet is not super expensive. However, that doesn't mean that we would not spend any money on it. By that being said, pets are required a lot of attention and care. They also can get sick just like how humans get sick. And sometimes the treatment for pets are most expensive compared to human. However, it is important to bring your pets to veterinarian as soon as after adopting it. The thing that you need to do before you bring your pets to veterinarian is first you need to set a checkup schedule as what your pet are needed for its medical and as well as schedule for shots and vaccination. Second, you ask your vet what symptom to look at for if your pets get sick. And third, knowing that your pet's normal behavior is very important. Normally, pet will act unusual if they are sick or injured, such as sleeping more and not eating their food. If they begin to act strongly, check them and if it keeps on concerning you, then take your part to the vet. As to how you spend money for vet, you might as well as spend your money on the range food for pets, which also a higher in price if it comes in a good quality. And please remember to not feed your pets the table scraps. This is because people's food is not good for them since it contains minerals and items that can be harmful to animals. So feeding the same meal as what you eat to your pet is a big no and no. The thing that you need to do in order for you to feed your pets is first you only feed appropriate food and give your pets a responsible portion. Second, feeding a natural food is also a good choice since it is more healthier than the dry or processed food. Third, make sure to purchase food for your pet that is properly nutritious. And the last one, you observing your pet's diet which is it is also important for you to know what food that your pet cannot eat as well as those they can eat so now you are qualified enough to have a pet and so let's go decide on one that's all for today's episode i hope by the end of this episode you will gain an insight regarding the pets and make the information become one of your reference before you deciding for a pet and as usual I will end this episode by wish you a good luck and yeah, see you in next time. Bye!